I you did the whole that. thing already? Yeah, yeah. Like it just kind of, I eat a lot of oranges though. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathleen Benjamin. I am the owner of Onsite Hair and Makeup. And today I'm joined here with Raquel Genevieve and she is the owner of Blush Tans. And we're gonna be talking about spray tanning. So sometimes when you get a spray tan, you can come out a little orange. So today we're going to be doing a little game with peeling oranges with a spoon. Have you ever peeled oranges with a spoon? Before? I have not <laughs> peeled oranges with a spoon before. How did you get involved with doing spray tanning? So I moved to La Jolla, California a couple years ago and I had this opportunity to be a manager, oh, this is hard, for a spray tan salon. So the brand was called Blush Tan. And before I used to always really hate spray tans because I was from the East Coast and I thought they were a little cheesy and uh, uh, orangey looking, I guess is the best way to describe it. Right, okay. So I had no idea that they, first of all, could be organic and you know fragrance free and paraben free, which I loved because I, I tried to use clean beauty as much as possible. And then I love that there's you know, natural options that you don't, not every tan has to be this crazy dark vacation tan that you could get things that were very subtle and natural looking. And then I I loved it because I do bridal makeup as well. So it was something great that I could offer to my bridal clients where if they just wanted a little bit of color on their wedding day, they could have that option. Oh, this is just messy. <laughs> How soon before the wedding should they get a spray tan? So if you're, I say it takes about 24 hours for a tan to develop. So if you're getting married on a Saturday, you want to book your appointment sometime on a Thursday. So to give yourself like a day in between. Um, so if you get sprayed on Wednesday night, you should see the tan develop by Thursday. Uh, I'm sorry, if you get sprayed on Thursday, you should see the tan develop by Friday, and then Saturday morning, it'll be fresh and perfect for you. They last five to seven days, depending on the carrot home. Are you, you making do. orange juice over there? <laughs> <laughs> on your pretty white counter, and it's just... It's you did the whole up. thing already? Yeah, yeah. Like, it just kind of... I eat a lot of oranges, though, so it just... I don't know. Okay. I use I'm this using end. this end. <laughs> I thought it was funny the way that you took that end and was like going in there with it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to peel another one. Well you still <laughs> continue to do it that way. So how long does the spray tan last? Uh, they usually last about five to seven days depending on the home care. Okay. So how do you take care of it at home? So there are spray tan compatible products that you can use, body washes, moisturizers that just help keep the tan fresh. Um, we always say avoid try using heavy oils at home because heavy oils can strip the top layer of your skin and make the spray tan shed faster. Okay, so that would be, is that like one of the challenges of getting a spray tan? Yeah, is just you know, using things at home that are compatible with it. Like okay. we, we always say try to avoid like coconut oil. A lot of my clients like to use that, but it's not the best product to use at home to keep it fresh. And it's just to make sure that you exfoliate really good prior to your next spray tan. Okay, and can you go out in the sun? Yeah, but well, okay. we always say use sun protection okay. um, because it doesn't take the place of SPF or anything like that. Okay, so it, will it just enhance it if you're like out in the sun and you get a spray tan? Will it just get darker or will it just... Yeah, your skin will just get darker, darker with it. Because basically what spray tan does, the ingredient that tans you is DHA. Okay. And DHA tans the top layer of your skin. So as your natural skin shedding process goes through, as your skin gets rid of the dead skin cells, the tan fades. All right, so how's that orange coming now? I'm very embarrassed about okay. it. I just like murdered this poor <laughs> orange. Well, I think we did an amazing job um, peeling these oranges with the spoon for the first time. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think this is my forte. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe and hit the like button below. Cheers. Cheers.